Hi friends, welcome back to Table Full of Joy. I'm Cheryl, I'm so glad you're here. If you've been following along for a while, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. So we are doing something super exciting today. This video is part of a collaboration with a whole bunch of other YouTube channels. We are bringing you some amazing things for St. Patty's Day and for spring. So I hope that after you finish watching my video, that you will go and check out the description box down there, find the playlist and go check out some of the other amazing people that have put a lot of effort into their videos to share with you. And those are all gonna be in a playlist for you. So I hope you'll go check those out. If you are here from one of those other channels, I'm so glad that you decided to come by and see what we're doing. So we're gonna get in the kitchen. We're gonna make something for spring. And I'm super excited about this recipe. It was always a huge favorite. When I was a chef at the sorority house, it was their favorite Monday night dessert. So let's get in the kitchen and make it. All right, so for this recipe, it's a layered dessert. We are gonna start with our eight ounces of softened cream cheese. So we're gonna make our filling that's gonna go in between layers of graham crackers and sliced fresh strawberries. It's a beautiful dessert. It's super, super tasty. Um, and as I said, this was a favorite when I was at the sorority house on Monday nights. This was always their favorite topper dessert. We would have guests and they would ask me to make this for them. We have one can of sweetened condensed milk. We had beautiful strawberries we picked up today at uh, Walmart. We went and did a grocery haul. That's another part of another collab. So I, if you guys want me to, I will leave that description um, or I'll leave that link in the description box as well. So you can check out the grocery haul um, that I did as well as the grocery haul that a whole bunch of other people did. Um, I love watching grocery hauls. I think they're super fascinating. It's always fun to get to see what people are buying. And the other part that I love about uh, watching grocery hauls is I learned some amazing things things in, on the, in the grocery stores that maybe I didn't see because I get so used to my normal stuff that I do all the time and I just totally miss out on um, all these other things and so I have found some new uh, seasonings just by watching grocery hauls that I actually did pick up a couple of those today at Walmart when I was in there they had a couple of them so I was super excited to get to get those today all right, so we have our sweetened condensed milk, our cream cheese. We're gonna let that mix while we go ahead and deal with our strawberries. So these are just beautiful. They are so pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and get our stems cut out. You're gonna have to layer. We need two layers of strawberries, so we're gonna need quite a few sliced. Strawberries are just beautiful. I'm really surprised for this time of year how pretty they are. All right, so once we have our cream cheese and our sweetened condensed milk mixed up, we can go ahead and drop in two boxes of cheesecake flavored jelly. And with this, we're going to put in three cups of milk and that's going to make our filling for our layers. So let's go ahead and put our pudding in here. Put in our three cups of milk. Oh, come on. I'm trying to get it all out of the package. It's not wanting to cooperate. All right, so let's go ahead and do our three cups of milk. Might have to get my other half gallon out of the fridge. Let's see where we're at. I'm gonna just call that good. It's just shy of the third cup that we're gonna just call it good right there. So we're gonna turn this on low. We wanna get this chance to start to mix up, let's go ahead and do some more of our strawberries. Once we start layering it together, then we'll be able to tell how we are looking for strawberries if we need to do some more. This just makes such a beautiful dessert. Let's go ahead and kick that up a little bit. All right, so we have our graham crackers. We're gonna go ahead and layer the first layer in the bottom. Okay. 
we're gonna go ahead and take our bowl off of here. Let's get rid of our whisk. Now we need to put in our Cool Whip. So we'll set that aside. Give our mixture down here a good little stir first. Looks like you have a little bit of pudding that kind of stuck to the edge. Cool Whip opened up. They put supposedly a serrated thing on here and I never can find it. into our mixture. We're going to save a little bit of it for the top. That should be plenty for the filling. Now when we're doing this, we want to go from the bottom up. So we're folding gently in this. We're trying to not deflate that cool whip that we just put in here because that's going to give us a nice and light an airy dessert. So we have our pan with our ground crackers in it. We have our sliced strawberries. I think I'm gonna take a couple more of these graham crackers and I think I'm gonna go the quarters right here because I think it needs a little bit more coverage on this end over here. So we're just gonna take Graham crackers. It doesn't matter if they break, it really doesn't because it looks to me like you need another one right here. Let's go ahead and put one right down here on this corner. Like I said, you want to make sure this is fully covered with graham crackers in the bottom. All right, so now this is just a layering process. From here on out, we're just going to layer some of our cream mixture. We're going to put that down on top of our graham crackers. We're going to get that all smoothed out. We're going to put down some strawberries and then we're going to put down another layer of graham crackers. So let's go ahead and give this a little bit of a push to get this nice and smooth. Get this leveled out. You have to put your finger down there just for a second kind of Hold your graham crackers in place until you get them where they need to be. You can do that, whatever you have to do to get it even. Okay, that looks good. So now we're just going to go in with our strawberries. And how I do these is I do them alternating pieces so that they fit. It's like a puzzle, kind of. Look for a small piece if you need to, to fill in. And we're just going to keep filling this in with our strawberries. All right, so now we're going to go back with another layer of graham crackers. I'm going to go right over the top of the strawberries. If they overlap, it's not a big deal. We're only going to get one more layer of graham crackers on here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and put one more layer of our filling. And I actually think that I used my smaller pan versus my bigger one, but it's fine. We'll just have this filling for something else. It's just a cheesecake filling, so we'll be able to use it for something else. So we're going to go ahead and smear this on here. Get this all covered up, get all of your graham crackers covered. Let's go ahead and do the last layer of strawberries and then we're going to put on whipped cream at this point. We're going to go ahead and go in with our whipped cream. This is looking beautiful. So, so pretty. All right, so we have the last of our cool whip. We're just going to put dollops on here so that we can spread it out. We have more strawberries over here. We can certainly garnish our dessert tomorrow before we serve it. We'll just put those in the refrigerator. I don't want to put them on too early because they will turn our Cool Whip pink. We still want to be able to see those beautiful strawberries. There's our beautiful layered cheesecake. Um, icebox cake is basically what it is, but you can see all those beautiful layers. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen as we made a quick little spring dessert. 
I hope you guys will check out all the other channels that are, are participating in this collab. Go check out I'm Merely Melissa and Christie's Farmhouse. I'll leave their links in the description for you guys, but also the playlist will be there for everybody that's participating in this. Hope you go check it out, check everybody out and show every someone love. And so we'll see you guys again, friends. Again, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. It means so much to me. And have a great day, friends, and God bless.